Welcome back. Today we are going to transform what was the corn patch and what was some tomatoes here into some fall gardens. And I figured, hey, we're gonna be doing this thing anyways. Gotta get some food in the ground, so I might as well bring you guys with me. First thing that we're doing is getting rid of the weeds. There are a lot of weeds in here and the weeds are starting to go to seed. And I want to till this area up, but if I till all those weeds under, that's a bad deal. So if there are some tomato plants in here that are falling to pieces and they're, they've got rotten tomatoes on them. They're not going to do anything else. And there were some rebar stakes we had to pull out. And then there's all these weeds that had grown up in between the corn and other stuff that we're either pulling or chopping out of here and then they're getting piled up on the edges of the garden and then all that gets thrown to the chickens the chickens will recycle it into compost and then we can put compost back out here as we grow so the first bit is just getting this area clear and then we are going to till it Now it's a little bit late for growing sweet potatoes, but I want to see if we can get a couple of rows in before it's over. The Louisiana Extension said that uh, the sweet potatoes should be put in, the very last round of them could be put in at the end of this last week, I guess. So we're probably a week over or so, but we should be okay. I'm just gonna try it and see what we get. <laughs> This is the remnants of our carbon tomatoes in the terra preta bed. They grew like crazy, but even this rich soil was not enough to keep them from the end of summer or keep them from all the insects that wanted to chew the tomatoes up. So after we got our first few rounds of tomatoes, the pests moved in and took them out. So we're gonna take these guys down and redo this area. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant in those last two rows over in the single row garden area where I just planted the sweet potatoes. So I'm going to think about that. 
go through my seeds this evening maybe and pick something out. So I figure right now I'll take these down. And I know what I'm putting in here. I am switching my rotation out. We had tomatoes in here, so we're gonna put something in here that puts nitrogen back into the soil. I've got some pole beans I wanna try. Two different varieties. A uh, yellow wax pole variety that Steve Solomon said was delicious. And black cocoa bean, which is a dry bean variety, which Steve Solomon also recommended to me, and he said it was the very best soup bean. And I figure since we got a little bit of season left before it gets cold, I got just enough time to get some pole beans in here, put some nitrogen in the soil, and maybe get a good mess of dry beans as it gets drier into the fall and winter. Dry beans are not good for this climate during the summer. Most of them rot in the pods. So hopefully we get a drier fall and we can see what those beans actually taste like. So these little plastic clips, a friend of mine gave them to me. James Prigioni recommended them for bracing up, tying up your tomatoes. I don't like them. I much prefer little strips of rag, just torn up rag. Little plastic stuff in the garden. I'm sure you could use them again and again, but they're kind of hard on the, the plants. And I didn't find that they actually held them up that great to the strings or anything. So no, no, I don't like them. Trying to get all of our fall gardening prep done this weekend. So these beds behind me, which are standard four foot wide beds with basically two foot wide pads, they've had tomatoes in them, they've had lots of weeds in them from the heat and the rain of summer, and everything's kind of just fallen to bits. So we have to go and rejuvenate these beds. So we're gonna go and get some chicken run compost and scatter it down the beds. We're gonna get all the weeds out. We're gonna get it wide open again and then we're going to plant them out so it's ready to roll as the seasons change. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. This is from the compost pile that we started, I guess the end of last year. I put a ring around it and then dogs got into it and made a big mess. So I just threw vegetable matter on it and stopped throwing kitchen scraps in it because they were making such a mess. But now it's pretty much settled out. We're getting some compost out of it. Just a long, slow, cold compost. And you can see some of the sticks and stuff that were in it didn't rot down, which is fine. We threw all kinds of rough material in it. That'll just get cycled through again. This will be really fungally dominated stuff. It's got a lot of carbon in it. 
You can see there's still a lot of leaf material. This is more like leaf mold from all the leaves we put in it. This would make a really nice potting soil mix. Really good stuff. Nice and fluffy. What do you have? I have a baby rock lizard. This is the middle of the day coffee break. It's hot now. Like four beds done. I and thought you were gonna say it's like 400 degrees. It's like 400 degrees. <laughs> have had a very, very busy weekend, but we got a lot done. We got the paths cleared out. We filled in some gaps. We cleared out the beds of tomatoes that weren't doing anything. We got that whole area where the corn was weeded, sweet potatoes put in, we fertilized some beds, we chopped some stuff down, we threw some stuff around, we built some more compost, we harvested some compost. It is a wonderful weekend, and it's not even really the start of fall gardening, it's sort of like the preparation before fall gardening. Right now we're still putting in crops that thrive in the heat, like those beans we planted. These cassava, 
are gonna go all the way until the first freeze. So the space that they're taking up right now is not gonna get replaced with cool season stuff. It's all just kind of at that point where you know the transition is coming and you gotta prepare for it. So we're planting flats of broccoli and cabbages right now. We're checking on our seed supply and seeing what we have. We're putting in one more round of the short stuff, the fast stuff. If I could plant some more peppers, I would, but I didn't get them planted last month in flats, so we probably don't have quite enough time for another round this year. So this is that transition, and I tell you, you can get so much done in a weekend, especially when you work as a family. It's great having kids. It's great having a wife. It's, it's a good thing, and it's a lot of fun to do this kind of work. Even though it's hot, even though it seems like the weeds are winning and the bugs are winning, you can still handle it. You just go out and you do it. You go out, you do it, and maybe you drink a cup of coffee in the middle of the day, and then you go do some more, and then maybe you go swimming, and then you go do some more. But don't take too many breaks. Not too many coffee and swimming breaks, or else it might take you two weekends. Anyhow, thank you for joining me. I'm so excited about seeing how these gardens turn out over the course of this fall. This is so much more abundant than, I mean, when we started, this was the most horrible piece of ground we ever gardened on. And now it's just rich and lush and fertile and things are happening. It's amazing. By the way, if you're interested in this grocery row gardening system that I've been developing for the last couple of years, I wrote a short book on the topic. It is available for pre-order on Amazon right now if you click the link below. If you guys pre-order it ahead of time, it helps with the Amazon algorithms. I know some of you guys don't want Kindle and that sort of thing, but many people asked me to write this little book and said, how did you build the system? How did you do this? How did you do this? So this is my amazing perennial permaculture gardening system and I, I want you guys to build this yourselves. You can build it just by looking at my videos, but if you want the little booklet and you want to help it take off in the Amazon rankings, please go ahead and pre-order it below. There is a paperback version coming which will come out really soon. It's called Grocery Row Gardening and I will put the link below this video. Thanks, I appreciate it. Keep following along, be sure to like and subscribe. Catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com and until next time, your thumbs always be green.